Hi. Welcome to Dave Herman's New York. Now, you might think it's a little weird that we're doing a show called Dave Herman's New York out here in New Jersey. But, I mean, where would New York be without New Jersey? You know what I mean? What we want to do over the next half hour is take you around the New York metropolitan area to various places where rock lives. And rock certainly lives right here, the Capitol Theater. I just went inside the office and I checked over all of the bands that have played here over the years. And I think I got a few surprises for you. Like, the Capitol Theater first opened in December of 71. First bands to play here, Humble Pie and the Jay Giles Band. In 1979, The Who played at the Capitol Theater. That's right, they did two shows, one on September 10th, one on September 11th. Maybe you were there that year. Now this thing amazed me. Right after The Who filled this place and filled the entire neighborhood, two days later, Dire Straits were here. But Dire Straits played to a half-empty house. Not a lot of people knew that band back then. Two weeks after that, the police were here. They also played to a half-empty house. But a tremendous event in rock and roll occurred in June of 1978, June 14th to be exact, just a couple of months before Bruce Springsteen played here. But on June 14th, the Rolling Stones, who were doing a major tour of the world then, were working in some smaller theaters along with the huge arenas that they were playing. And the Stones were here at the Capitol Theater. I'm gonna go on in. We're gonna check out, uh, go into a go-go by the Stones. See you later. The Stones go into a go-go live. Well, we're going to the bottom line. This is Dave Herman's New York. We're on U68. We're at Mercer and West 4th Street, the famous bottom line. Come on in. Let's go. Ah, the bottom line. I have spent many a great night of rock and roll in this joint. One very, very memorable time was August of 1975. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band played here that night. Actually, they played for a week. We broadcast the opening night on WNEW FM. I'll never forget it. Before the band came out, Bruce came out alone. Just walked over to the piano, probably this one, sat down, and without the band on stage, played and sang Thunder Road. Then the band came out and just ripped this joint apart. Of course, in those days, no show was complete without Rosalita. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, Rosalita. How many nights do you think Bruce can sell this place out? Madison Square Garden. He could probably play here for six months and not have an empty seat. Well, we've been telling you all the places where rock lives. We know it lives on WNEW-FM. We know rock lives on U68. We've been to the Capitol Theater. We've been to the bottom line. But no program like this would be complete without a visit to Madison Square Garden. After all, it's probably the one arena in the entire world that any rock and roll band yearns and aspires to play at. We were lucky enough to bring the Kinks into Madison Square Garden for our Christmas concert, December 1984. Let's listen to the Kinks now and watch them do Come Dancing. The Kinks and Come Dancing on Dave Herman's New York. Well, here's a place where rock lives. Lincoln Center, Avery Fisher Hall. You know, the first time Genesis ever appeared in concert in America was right here at Avery Fisher Hall. WNEW-FM presented them there in our Christmas concert, December of 1972. Well, the personnel was a little different, but the band is as great as ever. Let's hear from Genesis. Genesis, nice video. Well, there's not a whole lot happening here on the Sheep Meadow in Central Park on this cold winter afternoon, but I can remember many a summer afternoon when a lot was happening here. Rock lives here in Central Park on the Sheep Meadow, the scene of many a free summer concert by such people as James Taylor. Simon and Garfunkel had a reunion here. Diana Ross was here, the Jefferson Starship, the Beach Boys, there were so many of them. But perhaps the greatest of them all was the day that Elton John performed to two or 300,000 people. Elton John, and he's still standing. Great video, Elton John still standing after all these years. Well, that's our little trip around uh, the New York area and places where rock lives, like the Capitol Theater, the Bottom Line, Madison Square Garden, Lincoln Center, Central Park. And uh, here in my house, this is where rock lives for me. 
this is where I watch my U68 and listen to my rock and roll records. So thanks for letting me come into your house for the last half hour, and welcome to mine. I'll see you.